Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Part 4. Second way to make a cross. Hello again! In this video, you will learn how to make a cross using a different type of knot from the one we made in our prayer rope. Once we put on the beads, we hold them tightly in place and use a new technique to create the cross. We separate the four strings in four directions. We take the top left string and make a loop between the top right and bottom right. Now we take the top right string and put it between the bottom right and bottom left strings. Then we take the bottom right string and put it between the bottom left and upper left string which is in the form of the loop. Then we take our last string and pull it through the loop. Now we pull the strings together simultaneously. Our first knot for the cross is complete. We do three knots on each side of the chotkin. Once we are finished, we separate two strings from each knot and connect the opposite strings together. Using our new set of strings, we make three knots on each side to create the horizontal line of the cross. And once again, to finish our chotke, our last step is to cut off the strings one by one on each side, however, leaving two to three millimeters uncut. So that the strings do not tear, we gently use a lighter to melt the remaining pieces of the string and press it to the knot. of the wrist chotke is ready to be worn. I hope that you pray the Jesus prayer using your chotke to always be in the presence of God. Thank you. God bless you. Jesus, Lord Jesus, Son of the living God, have mercy, have mercy on me.